I guess the first things first is, uh, is this a final decision on your part to no, either I, go to the NBA or go to I still got a month to decide to withdraw or stay in, so. So there isn't a chance that you do return to Creighton? Yeah. What, what, what about the decision to either check out your options in Europe or do the NBA draft? Um, it seems like an ideal situation for you to at least open your options. Up. Well, those are all, I think, good decisions. I mean, um, there's no bad ones here. Uh, it's just it's just a matter of what fits the, the most, you know, what fits better. People uh, may read into your goodbye on Twitter as a goodbye, though. Uh, so what you're saying is that you're going to go through this process and you could return to Creighton, is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I was just talking to coaches over here. It's not a goodbye, it's a see you later. <laughs> so <laughs> no, I just wanted to thank everybody again. I mean, I really appreciate the support and the love from, from the fans and um, uh, all the coaches and, and the entire coaching staff and my team, teammates that have, that have been through my journey here at Creighton. Um, I've already made the biggest decision of my life to come to the USA and join Creighton and uh, I think that was the best decision of my life so far. And that, and this is obviously one of the uh, avenues you could take if you chose to, to play overseas. Is that how, how much would that play into your decision whether or not to come back? Uh, well, it, it depends how much interest they show, how 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 they see me in their uh, environment, in their club, and um, if there's a good option that opens up, um, you, you can't turn them down or at least talk to them. So, um, so far I don't have anything on the table yet, but we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks or months. And knowing what you have to come back to, should you decide, that, that's got to play a role too. I mean, if you guys were rebuilding, I would say it's a win-win situation. I mean, um, if, in case I come back to Creighton, uh, we have a good chance to make the tournament and, and make a run over there. Um, and if, if not, uh, I still got to develop as, as a player more. I still got a lot to learn, and um, I think there's both decisions are good. It's pretty common, I feel like, for players to declare for the draft to get some feedback. What do you want to get out of this experience? I guess what I maybe you don't know, but what's your expectations, if, if any, going into this, where you can possibly hear from teams in Europe or teams in the NBA? Yeah, I just want them to uh, see me, uh, tell me what they think, and um, what I have to work on. Uh, Give me some confidence, or um, just tell me what they what they really looking for. You've been working out with the NBA ball since you got cleared to return to visit last year. What have you noticed so far? Let me any subtle differences in terms of what it feels like and the on your hand, the shot, the you know all the things that you, that you have to do skill wise. With that. Yeah, th there's a reason why the, the NBA three point line is further. It's a lot easier to shoot with that ball. Um, it comes out the hand a lot easier too. Um, but uh, man, it, it, it's been fun playing with the college ball too. So I don't know. <laughs> in, in your, I guess in your heart of hearts, in your mind, when you're obviously a hardworking guy, so when you have a goal, you've been able to push to it, achieve to it, regardless of how many injuries you've had along the way. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like? You know, at the end of the day, you have a skill set that fits in today's NBA, and is that why you're kind of shooting for for that as your ultimate goal? Yeah, I mean, I might not be as talented as Justin and Kyrie, um, like a first round pick, but uh, I got a I got a value that you can't take away from. I mean, that that's a hard work. Um, I will never stop working, and uh, I think that's that's what the best value someone can have, um, no matter how much talent you have. And um, yeah, it's, I think that's the, the most important thing. What uh, you've kind of been—I guess I don't know. Did, did was it an easy, easy decision to declare, or was it something that you kind of thought about over the last few weeks of whether or not you wanted to go this route or take us through that thought process? Yeah, I got nothing to lose to declare with no agent and uh, and just try to test the waters.
Olympics. How much did you have you learned already about it? Because I, I know I'm sure you've talked to Coach McDermott mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, have you reached out to anybody else, and what have you learned about the process so far? Yeah, I mean it's a lot of information. Um, it's it's um, I don't know. It's just you know it's a business part that I don't see as much here. Yeah. Um, including money and all that, but uh, I just love the, the, the game of basketball, so. Is your, is your age and your injury history a factor in, uh, or will it be a factor in your decision ultimately, given that, you know, when, they, when people, when professional evaluators look at prospects, they look at those two mm -hmm. things as determining factors. Is it one for you in terms of if you have to do this now or if you do come back next year? Yeah, I mean, they can look at it, but they can also look at me coming back from three ACLs, which tells you something, um, and coming back stronger. So uh, that all tells how determined I am to always come back and always to work harder. And to answer your pre previous question too, like the skills and, and uh, the skill set, I think it fits perfectly for the NBA. I mean, I can run, I can jump, I can shoot. So it's pretty good. So yeah. None of us can do it. <laughs> I guess, it, but there would be sort of a thought of like. Kind of what Matt was saying is, you know, you're, you've finished college, you got your degree, and you've kind of gone through hardships and overcome them. Maybe it's now time to start a new chapter. Have you thought about, I mean, how much is that part of part playing to this decision? Yeah, I mean, there, there were always thoughts coming through my mind and uh, thinking what ifs. Um, I'm just going to have to see when I go through the process and see see what what it offers are and yeah. see where that takes me Can, are you able to submit your name to the advisory board am i to, the, the nba draft advisory board can you submit your name to that committee can you know what i'm talking about no i don't know okay. yeah, yeah, that, that's the next step but they showed some interest so nice. is there anything you've heard throughout this process so far that season ended a while ago throughout this time so far that uh, you think kind of led to this decision or anything to where it'll lead to the decision in the future, whether you'll stay here or decide to pursue a professional career? Can you ask that again? Like, is there anything specific that you've been, you know, talking with coaches uh, or potential agents that you've heard that is, uh, that will factor into your decision in the future already in this process? Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's all up to me. I mean, coaches were just telling me whatever you decide we're going to we're going to support you 100%, and that's all someone like me needs. So. Looking forward to it? Oh, yeah. Can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. All right, thank you. I mean, just the, just the opportunity that they presented uh, in the way the NCAA is working with the players now. What type of mindset are you approaching this with? Um, what are you looking for out of this in terms of, like, I imagine you think right now, realistically, it's a long shot, but should you hear X, Y, and Z? Like, what are you looking for in terms of how you can be better uh, My mindset, with I'm taking it serious. Uh, I'm taking the most of the opportunity. Um, I'm going with the mindset of uh, I got to work hard. I got to uh, play my game, and I'm just worried about myself right now, not really uh, thinking more of the politic or analytic way of it. Um, just more so going in, working hard, seeing where my game is at, and just making the most of it. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Too, that it's kind of a win-win for you because even if you come back, you got a pretty good situation here to come right. back in. So yeah. why not? Right? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is um, the way that our coaching staff has came in. We've been here working hard. Uh, we have a really good lineup as far as guys is here, um, and just I mean, our teammates, everybody's been work, working really hard trying to battle through injuries. So um, I feel like it was just a good time, and uh, like you said. Uh, we're still here working on ourselves. Is this a no-brainer situation for you, or did it take some? Did you have to talk to a few different people about? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, um, I consulted with my family, uh, the staff, Coach Matt. We had a lot of conversations. It, it definitely just wasn't a jump and go do it. It took a lot of time and uh, thought into to doing it. Did you talk to your brother at all? Yeah, I talked to my brother. He told me come home to Charlotte, man. Just chill with the family. <laughs> just, just that's it. What, did you take it easy this offseason? Yeah, man, I got, I went home, uh, got to see my family for Easter, enjoy that. So I'm, I'm just having real fun right now and enjoying everything. The season just ended for you, though, so it's like, right. 
you do this and you're not really going to get much of an off season, then you guys are going to Australia if you come back. Right. Or you're going to summer league if you go pro. Like you're not going to get much of a break here. Like, how does you? How do you feel physically going into all this? I mean, I'm doing something I love. I mean, it's not like I'm typing a paper, doing something I don't really want to do. I'm, <laughs> I'm out here playing basketball. That's something I love to do. So uh, I, I am going to definitely take care of my body, take that serious. But um, if I can do anything just to get a little bit better every day, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. You have any rules in place where you could come back? Yeah. You couldn't come back, but you still need that to um, I don't know. That's all hypothetical. But um, I don't know. I, I still think I stand firm on my decision. I, I still think of right now in this present day, I did it, and I don't, I don't really regret anything about it. Yeah, do you have an idea of just the in terms of how it'll play out? Like when when you start receiving feedback, or, or do you know how the next couple of weeks are going to go? Um, right now, I'm just thinking about my finals, just trying to, you know, yeah. it's, it's a lot going on right now. I mean, I'm, right now I'm just focused on getting through the school year and then everything else kind of take care of itself, really, um, with the help of Coach Mack and everyone else. So, gotcha. yep. Can I just talk about Coach Mack and, like, um, the, the advice he's able to give you in regards to your post-Creighton life? How, which, since you've got it now, how valuable do you feel like it is in terms of all the experience he's had with guys that he sent there and yeah. guys that have turned pro and guys that have had success on the basketball floor after their Creighton careers? Um, I mean, Coach Mag has been doing this about 30 years, well over 30 years. I mean, he knows what he's talking about. Um, his advice is very valuable. I mean, it's, it's key to making decisions the way you make decisions. Um, I took uh, what he said, and you know, I, that's what kind of led me to doing some of the things I'm doing now. And I, right now, I'm just pretty much uh, being a third-year uh, player, finishing up my third season, just um, evaluating everything he said, trying to implement into my game and get better every day with these workouts, with uh, further workouts in the future, things like that. Does it make it easier to trust it, given that he's had some recent experience with guys in this sure. situation? Or just like, I guess you know that he's acting in, I guess, good faith in terms of, he probably wants you back next year. For sure. But yeah. if he, he knows if you get advice to the contrary, then it's best for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I trust his word. I mean, that's why I stuck with him. Um, and that's why I'm where I am now. He's still, still riding along. And, um, I, I definitely uh, take what he says with value, and so does my support and cast and my family, so for sure. Anything else? Thanks,